We've come to Bend, Oregon for a three gun event, except there's one catch, it's at night. Lights, lasers, and a whole lot of cool gear. See what happens when the sun goes down and the action heats up. Running and gunning in the dark, in the desert, with machine guns and suppressors. Sure, that makes sense. Who would do that? The folks at Crimson Trace. The event is the Midnight Three Gun Invitational. It's the world's first and only three gun event happening completely at night. Uh, had this terrible crazy idea to try and get involved with the shooting sports a little bit more because we're about personal protection and concealed carry and a lot of our consumers are shooting three gun it's the it's the biggest most expansive shooting sport going right now and we thought well how do we make that a crimson trace deal I know let's make it at night so you can see the lasers so that's how we got started three gun competition requires well three guns so what do you need Hi, let's talk about three gun equipment. I'm here with my good buddy Chris Serino and he competes typically in the scope tactical division. That's the most popular three gun division and it's also the easiest to get into. Chris, why don't you show us what guns you have? Well, it's pretty simple. I've got my shotgun, my pistol and my AR. We'll start off with the AR. I've got a laser and a foregrip on here, but otherwise this is a great AR for attack optics setting. Uh, it's a standard AR platform. It's got a fixed stock. It's got a one to five uh, power optic on it. It's got a set of iron sights for close in work. And the biggest thing that I would really do if I had an AR, it would be put a comp on it because man, yep. that, that thing really shoots so much better with yeah, a comp on it. Really, really flat and it's a really sh quick shot recovery. It, also, it does. You've, got, you've got a free flow tube here. Why do you run that? Well, I, I like the free flow tube um, because it, it helps me with the accuracy because even in three gun, we still shoot out to 450, 500 yards. Yep. So I've got a free floated barrel, I've got a heavier barrel. I can modify it to put rails on it where I want. And you can see that I modified it for this competition to put this vert grip on there and it's working out great for me. So uh, your shotgun, Benelli? Yep, it's a Benelli, it's an M1 Super 90. I think it's one of the first ones, first production years. Uh, it's fantastic, I, you know, I found it on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an expensive shotgun shotgun that I was able to get a great deal on. Yep. I added a magazine extension tube to it, so now this baby holds nine plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, I Velcroed an extra couple of shells onto it. I mean, it doesn't have to be fancy. It has to be functional. Yep, just has to work. Yep, and, and you know, it's a great gun. I got a little extended charging handle on it, and this thing shoots great. It works nice. great. Nice. So for a handgun, you've got a pretty bog standard M&P. Everybody loves the plastic guns these days. I'll tell you what, striker-fired guns, if you're not shooting a striker-fired gun, you're probably really, really good. Because these are <laughs> these guns are really easy well, to you're a shoot. Gunsmith. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, the only thing I've got modified on here, of course, for the night match this week. I've got the Crimson Trace rear laser. I've got the Crimson Trace light guard light. Uh, they're passive. It's easy. You just grab the gun and you go to work. Um, I also have modified my magazines yep. with the Arredondo kit. So those are now a 21 round magazine, mm -hmm. which gives me that little bit of extra. I don't have to reload quite as often. And you know, when you're reloading, yep. you're not shooting. And it's one more thing to it's go wrong. It's time. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Chris. Total value to, for you to get into the three gun. You know, what's the whole thing like this going to cost you? You can put a lot of money into these guns, it but is. you could do it for, you know, $2,500, get started, and you could be out there shooting. And of course, you're never going to be satisfied. So you're going to spend, <laughs> you're going to spend money if you want to. Yeah, it's like potato chips. Yep, it is. <laughs> well, Chris, thanks for sharing your guns with me. I hope you do really well in the match this you evening. You bet, man. It's always good to see you. Cheers, mate. Yeah. With a little help from our friends, we're getting there. Dave Wilcox helped me, 45 degree mount from Warren, got this delta point on there, and then uh, went down to the range, probably got an hour of light left, sighted in the scope, the red dot, now we're ready for some fun at night. 
Coming up, we talk to some shooters to see what accessories they're using for the night competition. And Jerry Michlick gives us a daytime run through one of the more difficult shooting stages.